Hi there, this is Judy with Paper Palm Tree, and this is the box I have to share with you today. This is um, something that I saw on Pinterest, and I think the girl's name was Crafty Caroline, I'm going to say. Uh, I'm not sure if she originated this box, because um, I've seen this box done by others besides her. So, But she's the one that I saw uh, do this box, and I wanted to share with you my version. So on this one, I've used... Um, the Daisy Delight paper pack, uh, DSP paper pack, and I put the um, the Daisy that we have the punch that uh, coordinates with this paper pack, and um, I think this is a beautiful little box. It opens up on the front like that, and um, this is an insert kind of a a, a little thing, but. It can hold an awful lot. I think it's just over two inches in square, but um, let me share with you um, how to make this box. So I um, have gone to another paper from Daisy Delight uh, that I really like. It's beautiful. And I'm going to pair it with uh, Calypso Coral. And I'm going to use this piece for the inset. So um, the DSP is cut at eight and a half by six, and then the insert box is cut at five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. So um, let me sh let me see what else I have. Um, oh, to make the daisy, I'm just going to use a piece of Whisper White. Um, yeah, I'll need I'll need another piece besides that. But I'm going to stamp it in the Calypso Coral. This one I did in um, the Daffodil Delight. And this is the stamp set uh, that coordinates, and this is the um, the stamp I'm using. And this is the punch that matches it. And if you buy these two together, you can save 10%. And um, I think this is a really versatile stamp set also that I like to get my money's worth out of. So... Alright, so let me start with, um, move some of this out of the way, I'm going to start with the top of the, uh, the outside of the box, and this one is again cut at eight and a half by six, so we're going to get out the scoreboard. Alright, so on the long side, I'm going to score it at one half, two, two and a half inches. Four and a half inches and six and a half. Okay, then we're going to move it to the short side and we're going to score this at two and four. All right, so let's. Um, Fold and burnish. I love that together. Isn't that pretty? Okay. <laughs> All right. So here is the... This is... Um, a little more complicated of a cut on this because we're doing the diagonal. So, on the long side here, I'm going to cut the tabs up to that score line. Okay, I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And I'm not wedging these, and I'm going to tell you why in just a second. Okay, so this is the um, the half inch edge and I'm going to move that to the left. Okay, so I'm going to get out my um, my trimmer again and um, we've got some some cuts that this is the uh, half inch side down here. So here is a two inch side. So for where this fold is on the it's a it's actually that second score line down there. I'm going to move that score line 
to a half inch. Okay? So, I am going to cut the first tab at two inches. I'm going to skip down to the third tab. You know what? I'm going to fold that one out of the way so I can see it. Um, probably need to do both of those. Okay. So. Two inches there. Okay. And then on this... Um, that really short little tab down there, I'm going to do the same thing. That's going to be... Alright, so we're going to turn that around, and we're going to do the same thing on these tabs. So, um... Let me move the tabs out that I'm, I'm keeping. So we're going to line this up, um, this edge, the score line, at a half an inch. So I'm going to cut there, there, and there. All right. So it should look like this. All right. So where the half inch is still um, at the top there, I'm going to cut these four tabs at diagonals. So I am going to fold that back, and I'm going to line the diagonal up in the track of the trimmer. Go right there. And do the same thing here. This is a little trickier of a cut and fold than a lot of boxes are, but um, I like the end result. I think it's really um, unique and pretty. Right. and so on this I'm just going to flip this over so I can see it on this side um, right there and I have one more cut down here Okay, so, so this is ready, and let me show you on my template, and this is how I do my templates, and um, you might can see where the lines are better on than on the patterned paper. But it's going to fold up, like so. Okay, so where we're going to put the adhesive get out my tear tape. Alright, so I need adhesive on the half inch tabs that we've done. Really hard to see on that pattern paper where I've put this, but um, you are doing it on the tabs. Try um, a, a practice, a couple of practice runs on this one. So, this one is probably um, not a beginner box. That's what I concluded, <laughs> but um, I think it's well worth it. So, all right. So let's fold it. So this being the front of the box, I'm going to fold that that half inch one up. Next one up is creating. Um, I want to do it right there. Yeah. This is creating the bottom of the box, right there. Now where these 
these um, corners stick out. I'm going to trim those off because um, they, they get in the way there. So, like that. Like that. All right, now for the top of the box, I'm going to... Um, Fold that diagonal line in onto that, right there, and right there, and that's how it's going to go. So I need to cut these um, corners off. So there, there's how the box is going to go. All right. Just like that. Isn't that pretty? So let me move these out of the way. And I don't throw my scraps away. I use, I use every little bit that I can out of my papers. Okay, so now I'm going to make um, the insert. And so this is cut at 5 and 7 eighths by 5 and 7 eighths. So, let me get out my scoreboard again. Okay, I'm going to score this bottom part at two inches on all four sides. And this bottom box is much easier. It's cut more like a normal in the box of what we're used to holding. Okay, so I am going to cut up on two of them this way. And these I am going to give just a slight wedge on that. Those tabs like that, and over here. Turn it to the other side. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Four, oh, four boxes. Again, you need a strong adhesive. So I'm going to use my tear tape on this. And I'm going to go on the four corner. Um, We're going to build the bottom of the box. Just like that. And that goes on the inside of this. Alright, so the last thing, so the insert goes into the bottom of the box. The last thing I'm going to do on this is I'm going to take a punch and punch out just a little half circle at the bottom there. That's just a little finger hole. And that's the pretty box. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so let's decorate the top. So I'm going to get... Um, Okay, so I um, have got my D-block, and I'm going to put my daisy stamp on there, and I'll get out my Calypso Coral.
and I'm going to stamp two of these. Actually, I can do it on that one sheet, I think. Press down, hold for a few seconds. And I'm going to do that again. punch there's one and there's two all right I have just a little piece of foam insert and I'm going to take my stylus from my scoreboard and I'm going to go just around the daisy petals like that. It kind of makes them curl back a little bit. And then on the on the center, I'm just going to go around in the circle, like that. And I'm going to do this one. Okay, I need some glue dots. And I'm going to put... Um, One glue dot there, and I'm going to offset this one. It's a double stack. I'm going to do another glue dot. That's going to go on top of the box. Okay, for the center of this daisy, I'm going to use the gold faceted gems and put that in the center of that. Yeah, I lost the glue. <laughs> Try that again. These, these little gold gems are beautiful. Very textured and it really is pretty. Okay, there's the box. And um, here's the insert again. Isn't that pretty? Really nice. I like this. So I hope you enjoyed this box today. If you did, if you'd hit the like button below. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, if you would subscribe to my channel. And you can head over to my, um, my website, and there is a shop button at the top of the blog page. And for any of the Stampin' Up! products, you can hit that shop button, and it takes you directly to the Stampin' Up! site to purchase. So, um, until next time, bye.